Whoops. That wasn't supposed to happen. Hi. I apologize. I uh, skipped the song by accident. That's okay. It was a song I wasn't a huge fan of, so I disliked it, and I forgot by doing that I uh, skipped the song. That's okay, though. Just give it a few minutes here, let me just kind of get everything prepared, and then we'll uh, start. Fan of these types of songs. It's supposed to be the hype station. Can we skip that? I apologize. I try not to skip songs too often, but really. Just songs that are just noise. It's like, eh, eh. A few more minutes, just uh, give me one second, sorry. So I'm a little bit later. Today, I'm always late, but I, I apologize. And I really ended up stubby there, I know. Hi! Hey, look at that. It's almost like I have a discord.gg slash uh, vs2kfuc. Okay, I mean what? Uh, <laughs> I have my own discord, hi. Uh, you should join it, it's awesome. <laughs> Plug! The kind of stuff I usually do before stream. Oh well. Hi Dan. How's it going? Oh. Okay. Sorry, I had to like sort of mentally prepare myself. I uh, just got out of the shower. I've been trying to do six different things at once and my head is in a bunch of different places here. I'm just trying to figure out where, uh, what I'm doing. Yes. Yes, yes. Oh. Oh, it couldn't post in the announcements. That's something I gotta fix with permissions with the bots and the announcements. I know what I'm doing. Do I? No, I don't. Um, yes, let's switch up stations. Dan says, well, I'm good because I have a new big project. Awesome. What's your big project, Dan? What'd you got? Let's go with ambient. <laughs> I hate switching songs, like I, I dislike switching songs in the middle of a song, but holy shit these are awful. Uh, don't do the hype station, got it. I really, really am not a fan of just noise. Like why? Why would you just insert random noises into your, into your music? It's supposed to be music, not... Whatever the fuck that is. It's just so strange. Yeah, what's your project, Dan? Before we kind of hop into things, uh, I have some things I want to uh, tackle today um, regarding hackers and uh, crypto mining and 
uh, exploding phones, DDoS attacks, and that's it. That's that's all I got. But before we do that, let's see what Dan uh, what what Dan's doing today. As I kind of, like I said, slightly mentally prepare myself. Oh my god, I did that twice. I'm so sorry. I slightly mentally prepare myself. First, I like scrape my finger across this thing, and then I scrape the whole bottle across it. I'm sure, that didn't sound fantastic. It's kind of not fully thought it through, but it's essentially a raspberry pie inside a van. I have questions. Mostly, um, what do you mean a raspberry pie inside a van? That's, that's pretty much my only question, really. Like, what do you mean by raspberry pie inside a van? A media center remote OBD dashboard media server. Okay. I, I, I just I was imagining like a Raspberry Pi um, van self-driving car. It's a self-driving van. I, I was very confused and slightly concerned. <laughs> just very, just very slightly. <laughs> All right. Good good news. Uh, Dan is not gonna blow himself up. So that's good. Well, probably is not going to blow himself up. He still might, just at least not with a Raspberry Pi. So that's good. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. I'm glad you're not blowing yourself up. This is why I have the mute button. Alright, well. Let's hop into it. So today, we are taking a look at... <laughs> Thanks, Dan. So today we are taking a look at uh, some cybersecurity news, actually. Uh, there's been a lot that kind of went on uh, the last two-ish weeks. I lightly touched on a few subjects like Twitter, for example. I say lightly, I made an entire stream revolving around Twitter. But um, I did kind of lightly touch on the other subjects in various places, but I didn't actually get a chance to really stream and, and kind of put my thoughts out on a lot of the stuff that's happened over the last couple of weeks. So I would like to uh, kind of go over that today. <laughs> Dan says, I want a dashboard inside the inside a house with the battery voltages and diagnostics. OK. And while we're at it, let's stream media into the entire house because Wi-Fi. <laughs> sure, why not? Um, but yeah, I wanted to take a, a look at some things that are happening. Uh, now, now, basically, um, it's some interesting stuff. I, I don't know if you've heard of the Iranian state hackers who were like, who got their their um, their stuff exfiltrated as they were. I guess uh, IBM was the people who caught them, but uh, IBM managed to nab their uploads uh, to a, an external file server uh, along along the route because it was unencrypted. And they basically got many gigabytes of videos where they were like training new hackers, new Iranian hackers, how to do things. It's brilliant. This is one of the things that we're going to talk about today. And that sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> like if there's I would like to see these videos if possible. I'm not sure that they're uh, public access, but I'd like to see them. Like, I want to know how they do this shit, right? That sounds fun. Um, <laughs> hey. It's a Mr. Zumka. Zumka? Oh, I apologize if I got that wrong. Mr. Zumka, hello! <laughs> Hopefully I didn't butcher that. Hello, how are you? But yes, that's that's kind of what my plan was for today. So let me just very quickly uh, go over this. Uh, I think the first thing I want to go over before we did that, really quickly, 
was to point out that, hey, by the way, there's a, a Discord right here. Ah, you can see me pointing at it. Look, there's a Discord right there. Uh, you should join it. It's the Discord that I have for basically my myself. It's my my Discord uh, for streams and stuff. It's been around forever, but uh, we, we used to be Patreon only, but now it's open to everybody. So join it because joining it is, is awesome. And there's things that you can do and people you can talk to. So join it. <laughs> also, uh, there's links in the description uh, for the Discord and Patreon and uh, Instagram. Check those out. Those are awesome if you'd like to. Sorry, I had to plug that real fast before we start. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, my nickname is spelled with the letter O. Okay, hey. Awesome. I'm glad I got that right. But yes, let's actually get onto the security news. I just wanted to plug that real fast. I apologize. Um, so... One, the first thing I want to talk about was uh, phones exploding, because that's always fun. So apparently there is a new hack um, that allows people to just basically blow up your phone. Um, that's fun. Uh, it's It has to do with uh, fast charging. Um, I think I don't know what exactly what phones have been updated against this, but um, if you have an Android update, especially a security update, you might want to consider updating it. Uh, basically, the, the whole idea here is that uh, attackers can abuse fast charging to literally melt and or explode your phone. Um, apparently, phones, their firmware wasn't patched or whatever, and what wound up happening is that if someone could make a compromised cable that were a compromised uh, fast charging device, basically, that when you plugged it in, could tell your phone to either overvolt or, um, you know, keep charging even past its limit, etc, etc, through the fast charging protocol. And so, in that case, you would end up with melted and or exploded phones. <laughs> uh... Could... what? <laughs> uh, don't say it out loud, I don't want Angel to hear it, wow. <laughs> Dan, you know how this works. Um, could you just quickly read your whisper on Twitch once you have a second? Oh, I forgot Twitch has a whisper thing. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, so the whole idea with the fast charging is basically just being able to abuse the fast charging protocol. I'm glad my phone doesn't support fast charging, I know, right? Is it abusing the fast charging protocol to blow up your phone. So, it's not the most useful thing on the planet uh being able to explode phones but it is fun and i'm sure a lot of people will try it there there have been uh i just got one of my little bad jokes for angel oh jesus <laughs> there have been um there there are people who just want to have fun and or watch the world burn so you know patch uh yeah there there are a lot of devices that can update their firmware so if you have like an update for your phone available i would recommend doing so yeah, Tim watch charging for the win. Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, my, my phone does support fast charging, but it was updated in March, uh, maybe April, I think, was the update that was pushed out for it. Uh, they've been working, this particular company has been working, the company that found it was working with uh, um, Google and a bunch of other uh, phone providers to update their, their phones to prevent that from happening. So if there was an update in the last few months and you haven't updated yet, please do. Uh, else, you know, at the very least, don't trust people when they say that they'll, you know, let you charge uh, for free or whatever, or they'll let you borrow their charger or whatever. Just don't trust them. Uh, at least until you get that patched. So, <laughs> there's that. Exploding phones, yay. Uh, right off the bat, just kind of starting off with explosions. Explosions are a thing that exist. Yeah, fun. <laughs> Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, is your is your phone kind of is your phone patched? Are you patched against this? Like I said, I got a I got an update a while back, and I I try and stay up on on top of updates. In fact, I just updated a lot of stuff on my PC earlier today. Um, and yeah, whenever my phone gets like a, the a operating system update, I'll I'll actually immediately update it. So yeah, that's a thing. But are you all patched up? Hmm. 
Hmm. Sorry, I have to... It's really hot. Today is... what? What is the high today? Yeah, I'm, I'm drinking more water than usual, and I don't usually drink water or anything on stream, unless it's coffee. But it is ridiculously hot. What is the, what is the high today supposed to be? Let me see. Right now it's uh, 93 degrees Fahrenheit, so let's convert that to Celsius real fast for you people who are not in the US. Uh, 93 Fahrenheit to Celsius is uh, 33.8 degrees Celsius currently. That's what that's the temperature right now. And by the way, I have no air conditioning in this house. There, that does not exist. All I have is fans. Uh, so today is supposed to be so. Hence the water. So today the high is 93 and the low is 74. And so 74 is 23.3 degrees Celsius. Uh, Dan says, currently I'm postponing an update on my phone for like two months. I would recommend updating it, because that's probably your uh, fast charging melting phone thing. Dan says, how are you surviving that? With this water over and over, I have drank... So this is my like third bottle of this water today. Uh, or third, third, yeah. I, I keep, I keep drinking water. <laughs> that's how I'm surviving it. Hi, Dan. Uh oh, hang on, uh, I think Restream just keeled over. One second, I just want to make sure everything's fine. Oh yeah, no, everything's fine. It just keeled over for a second, at least the, uh, the viewers. But yeah, um, that's how I'm surviving. It's nightmarish. That was messier than I thought it would be. I didn't, I didn't... <sighs> I promise I don't normally dribble. What just happened? Used to <laughs> overhydrating isn't good either. No, but I like if I if I'm thirsty I drink. That's how that works. Then I've been thirsty all day. Yeah, stole high temperatures from Lithuania. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I you can have your high temperatures back. I don't want them. <laughs> Go take them back, please. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh. It's so hot. It is so hot. Oh, hey! Thank you so much for the follow, St. Just. I appreciate it. And so does my lights back there. Yeah, I made custom lights. <laughs> Just for that situation. Yeah, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. It's St. Just, I believe. I hope. You, you get the custom lights and everything. Th those actually worked. Hey! Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. But yeah, moving moving on um, to the next topic I wanted to discuss was, uh, hey, COVID-19, hey, demonetization. Uh, <laughs> second you put, the second you say like virus or COVID, it's it's all over. You're you're demonetized. It's, it's done. Thankfully, I don't care. Just realized I didn't follow you. Hey, you should follow. Is uh, or is overhydrating an actual word? Yes, overhydrating is an actual thing that exists. Hey, thank you so much for the sub, uh, Mr. Zamka. And you also get the pretty lights behind me. Those actually are working today. Sometimes they don't work. I did custom code them, so that's understandable and fair. But yeah, uh, we're kind of moving on to our next topic, the uh, COVID-19 cyber attacks, um, or the, the more specifically, the increase in cyber attacks since COVID-19. Holy shit. Also, by the way, if you haven't yet, Check out the Discord, discord.gg, that, that link up there. Um, check that out, that's the Discord that I that I created. That's for this stream, basically. I'm gonna be doing stuff um, on stream that's a part of that Discord, so you should totally join. Uh, yeah, enjoy. Oh, hey, look, St. Just just joined. <laughs> look at that, see, I keep track of things. But yeah, um, check that out. And also the stuff down here, uh, the Instagram and all the other stuff that I actually use. But yeah, um, so it turns out that everyone's bored at, uh, during this whole like pandemic crisis thing. It's a, a little bit insane. Um, so the World Health Organization apparently increased a 500% increase in attacks since the whole COVID-19 thing started. Um, to put that in perspective, uh, 
So there's been fishing attacks. There, there, fishing attacks happen every year. So in February, we had about 5,000 uh, fishing attacks, kind of worldwide. And that's, that's about average, give or take. Um, in April, however, uh, that increased to 200,000. 200,000 uh, fishing attacks in April. <laughs> that is insane. It's, it's, gone, it's gone off the rails. People are bored. Well, everyone stuck his home, so I'm not surprised. Yeah. Who? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Dan, why? Dan. Dan, you insane person. <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, 5,000 a month is actually pretty uh, pretty standard. Uh, but yeah, in, in one month, it jumped from 5,000 to over 200,000. That is insane. Like, I, I understand that some people are just kind of... They're sitting there bored, but holy shit. Most funny thing is my dad stopped calling, getting those stupid scam calls. Yeah, uh, eventually I did too. I think it's it's entirely possible that it that it's people are not falling for them anymore, so they're stopping doing them. I mean, people will always fall for scams. That's it's just gonna happen. But at least with the COVID stuff, all the all the COVID related stuff is almost over, so there's no point in really scamming people with it anymore, especially where there's money involved. Like the only place where there's money involved with the COVID scams is with the whole like uh, you know checks that you're getting from the government, and those have stopped coming for the most part. There's talk about another one, at least in the U.S. But those, for the most part, most of the governments have, have finished that, so there's no money to be made in those kinds of scams. And the, the phishing attacks increased, yeah. It's, you know, it's whatever. And the phishing attacks will always be there, stuff like that, but yeah. And then phishing forbidden because you're not supposed to stay inside. Wow. Thanks, Dad. Dan, Dan is like king of dad jokes today. It's insane. Uh, but yeah, it looks like, uh, let's see. I'm reading this article on it. It says, uh, among the reports of their findings, crypto miners lead cyber attacks, uh, cyber attacks categories globally, making up nearly 20% of all cyber attacks. That makes sense because crypto mining is profitable. Duh. Uh, email attack ve vectors, 78% dominate web attack vectors, 22%. Yeah, again, because... That makes sense. Email is so much easier than trying to attack a website. So much easier. I'm always king of dad jokes. Oh, Jesus. Why? Why, Dan? Um, Excel files, exe, are the top... top malicious files across the web. 42% in email, 26%. I don't know what that means at all. You're comparing Excel files, exe files, and to email? I don't... I don't get that. Whatever. 80% uh, of the observed attacks used vulnerabilities reported and registered in 2017 and earlier. Yes, of course they did. That's because nobody fucking updates their phones, Daniel. <laughs> More than 20% <laughs> calling you out right there. More than 20% of the attacks used vulnerabilities that are at least seven years old. Again, yeah, because nobody updates. That makes sense. The same people who are who are vulnerable to downloading and, and executing random ex executable files are also the same people who don't update their systems. So that does make sense. Someone in the tele screen, by the way. Uh, Billy says, we sh oh, uh, we should get a like Discord to YouTube chatbot or something. Oh, uh, Discord to you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I wonder if I can do that. I don't know if I can. I'm sure that that's a possibility. Don't they mean like random xlsx.exe kind of viruses? Maybe? I don't know. That's so strange. That doesn't make any sense to me. So, in the first half of 2020, Checkpoint observed a new form of ransomware, which it called double extortion, in which attackers exfiltrate large quantities of data prior to encrypting it. Uh, victims who refuse to pay the ransom are threatened with the data being leaked, putting additional pressure on them to meet the criminal's demands. Yeah, that makes sense. It's kind of just, it's, it makes sense as like the next evolution of those kinds of things anyway. 
Like, if you're gonna extort somebody, you actually have real data on them. I just got the uh, update prompts. <laughs> yeah, not today. Fair enough, I guess. Uh, I'm positive you can at least stream YouTube, Twitch chat to Discord. Yeah, I'm sure that that's possible. I, I'm sure there's bots to do that, and I'll, um, I'll take a look at that. That sounds... or at least webhooks. I'm sure there's webhooks to do that, actually, now that I think about it. I, I'm sure if I, I take a look at, like, IFTTT, if this, then that. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure then I can find something. Or I... I IFTT... yes, IFTTT. I think that's what it is. Probably not tomorrow either. Dan, update. You are the target audience for like their these exploits. They're just targeting whoever they can get money out of. Uh, let's see. New crypto miner botnet spreads payload less intrusive. Uh, SC Magazine is where I'm getting a lot of these from. However, there are other ones. Restream Broad has Discord. I think so, yes. I will have to double check that. That's one of the things I did want to do. Um, in the kind of maybe the telescreen is just having chat kind of back and forth between telescreen and, and the, all the other stuff. Yeah, that's IFTTT. I'm, I'm sure if I can't do it in the restream bot, I can probably do it in some other like webhook or something through IFTTT. I guarantee that's a thing. Yeah, a lot of the uh, a lot of these I'm getting from SC Magazine. Uh, however, there are some that they have not covered yet including the Iranian uh, state hackers, which is a little strange to me. It's so strange. But yeah, basically the, the whole thing with the COVID-19 is that people are bored and more people have free time, thus uh, more attacks are happening. Either more people have free time and they're able to do attacks or, they re or the attackers realize that more people have free time and are sitting at home. And yes, speaking of Discord, thanks, thanks Streamlabs, I appreciate it. So Streamlabs has made a good point. Um, the the Discord.gg, there's a link now. Uh, there, there's a link now in in the chat that you can click. Um, you should you should join the Discord because it's awesome. There's a Discord right there that I'm that I'm actually watching as I as I stream here, and I'm responding to. So you should totally join that Discord in, in chat. Um, also, don't forget the Instagram and, and the Twitch and the, all the other links down below. Merchandise, etc, etc. <laughs> and it says, I'm getting my email inbox spam by FTT and I'm too lazy to unsubscribe, so I made a filter because that's cooler. <laughs> the filter works, I guess. Dan says, please capitalize the E and egg. It's painful. Where? Where, actually? Oh, the egg now has a disc. I see. Um, blame Angel for that one. She's the one who did it. She she wrote that whole sentence all by herself. So, blame her. <laughs> just throwing her right under the bus. Just just dive right under there. Uh. Let me, let me take a drink real fast, and then we'll move on to the next topic here. <laughs> Poor Angel. <laughs> she didn't deserve that, but I threw her under the bus anyway. Alright, so... So there is a new crypto miner botnet, by the way. Um, they have gotten even sneakier than they are now. They're pretty sneaky now, to be fair. Um, but yes, uh, as I mean, it makes sense as attackers get more sophisticated, what ends up happening is attacks get more sophisticated. So the whole thing here is that basically it's a continuation of what's been going on is that you have a new yet another crypto miner and or ransomware and or whatever virus makes the most money. Um, you have yet yet another one that surfaced. And yet again, it is less intrusive, so you can't notice it, and um, easier to spread. It's it's basically this is like this isn't really new so much as like, hey, there's another one. Eh, 
It's not really news. It's it's basically just like saying, yeah, people, the attackers are getting more sophisticated. We already knew this. But it's just kind of a, a more of a PSA that's like, public service announcement. Uh, there's this thing that, that's going on. Um, you know, make sure you keep on top of updates and patches and make sure you're actually actively looking for this stuff. There you go. Uh, remember you say you get demonetized? You already got demonetized because you made the live stream age restricted. Yes. Uh, the live stream is age restricted. It's already been demonetized, so don't worry. <laughs> I'm already losing ad revenue. And to be fair, I can't even do ad revenue anyway because I do not have enough uh, watch time on the channel. I need 4,000 hours of watch time uh, at minimum. I have almost 2,000 hours of watch time currently on the channel. Uh, however, I also need a thousand subscribers on the channel and I have like 4,500 or al almost 5,000 subscribers on the channel. Yeah, yeah, if you're not subscribed, you should totally do so. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's like not enough subs or something. Yes, I was just discussing that. I actually do have enough subscribers, but not enough watch time. I only have half the amount of watch time I need. Speaking of, I have already edited, uploaded, and uh, put a thumbnail on the video that is being up uh, that I'm doing tomorrow. There's there's a vid let me rephrase that. There is a video coming out tomorrow. It's already on the channel. You just can't see it. There you go. <laughs> I have it. I have it set to scheduled. So currently it's private. Tomorrow it's it'll be there. Yes. So let's binge watch eggs videos. Please do. That would be awesome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Watch live streams, etc., etc. The live streams are actually more, uh, more watch time because they're live streams. Less viewers, but more hours watched per viewer. So it ends up being more watch time, surprisingly enough. It's very strange. But yeah, that's so this whole like new crypto miner botnet spreads payload, less intrusive. Um, that that's basically just saying like. It's this is more of the same. Botnets, uh, crypto miners, uh, you know, ransomware, they're all getting more sophisticated. They're all getting sneakier. Just PSA, make sure you, you're on top of them. That's all. Keep keep watch for them. I only need like 6.2 years to get you to get you to the ad revenue I know, right? Uh One day. One day I'll actually be able to do ad revenue again. I used to be able to do ad revenue. I used to be a YouTube partner. Used to be. But then they changed all their rules and everything and I was no longer a YouTube partner. There was no grandfathering in of us smaller channels. It was just like, hey, you don't meet the requirements, so fuck you. <laughs> oh, only 4.62 years. Awesome. Good. All right, so, uh, so not only have there been on the, the COVID stuff, not only have there been more attacks or more, you know, actual like phishing attacks, things like that. Uh, DDoS attacks have also gone up quite a lot in uh, ever since the uh, virus started. Basically, any kind of attack that you can think of has gone up since the whole thing started. Because of course it did, because people are bored. Uh, DDoS attacks I attribute more to uh, bored attackers than uh, bored uh, sitting at home uh, suckers waiting to get their money stolen, because DDoS attacks aren't about stealing money. It's more about, you know, 14 year old kids who are sitting there bored. <laughs> Dan says, I think it was a YouTube partner in like 2014 or 2015 too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We all used to be YouTube partners, actually. Everyone. But now none of us are. <laughs> now I don't even have enough subs for that. Yeah, nowhere near enough. I know it's I got lucky and I somehow got enough subs for it, but um, watch time is still uh, not there yet. 4000 hours, though, of watch time in order to start monetizing. That's insane. Like that is a lot of ad revenue that YouTube is just taking for themselves <laughs> or leaving on the table. I don't know, they, they made a business decision somewhere that said like, hey, this will make us more money if we do it this way, or it'll lose us less money if we do it this way. Possibly. I don't know which. 
it's their platform. I can't really, whatever. I'm just disappointed. But yeah, basically, Amazon was, Web Services has reported a massive increase in DDoS attacks ever since COVID-19 started. Uh, during the second half of June, AWS reported that it mitigated a 2.3 terabit attack in mid-February. The largest DDoS attack ever recorded. Actually, that might be the largest. I think the last largest was like 1.8 terabits or something like that. Yeah, that's insane. Uh, 4K is just half a year. Oh, fantastic. So all Dan has to do is watch my videos for a quarter of a year. Just straight. Because we're already halfway there. <laughs> but yeah, this is... Uh, this isn't unexpected, but... Uh, like 2 point... Yeah, 2.3 terabit attack is, is quite large. That's... I'm surprised that AWS was able to mitigate it, to be fair. Like, even the DNS servers had issues with that, uh, like the 1.8 terabit attack. Like, that took down some of the DNS, like, central DNS servers, that 1.8 terabit attack. <laughs> that is insane. It's, it, that's just crazy. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. And that, those, those attacks, by the way, are all made by botnets. Um, what ends up happening is somebody will... So with the 1.8 terabit attack, what happened was somebody was able to exploit vulnerabilities in uh, specifically IoT webcams. Uh, and what wound up happening was they just put them into this large botnet that uh, caused a yeah 1.8 terabit attack. Some of those uh, some of the web webcams, that particular uh, security camera was advertised to and their target market was businesses so those businesses had better uploads some of those businesses had like um you know somewhere like two three terabytes per second uh upload speed and so they would use the, the all those cameras to attack a you know particular source and so the when the dns servers went down a few years ago uh, now, um, yeah, what wound up happening was it was those that large botnet. Hell yeah, webcam shutting down the internet. <laughs> it's basically yes. That's exactly what happened is webcams shut down the internet. Somebody took those IoT webcams, uh, security cameras, put them into a botnet, and targeted them at one of the or two of the central DNS servers and were managed to shut them down. Sort of. They they were sort of still up um but yeah they they definitely they had their defenses all up and ready and they were black holing everything because they get you know dns servers get attacked all the time especially the core ones so they were ready but they weren't ready for something that big nobody's ready for something that big so it kind of half shut them down um people all over the world were kind of having some dns issues because of the some of the d or two of the dns central dns servers going down um, sort of going down, half going down. They were still alive, but they were struggling. So yeah, definitely something that uh, that was interesting to to see. And our kind of the final topic I wanted to touch on today before we just kind of get into a coffee and chill stream is this whole Iranian uh, state hacker thing. I want to see if we can find these videos because I want to watch them with you. I think they would be awesome to watch. But also there's a scammer stuff I wanted to, I wanted to mention as well. Hmm. But before we do that, did you know? <laughs> plug, 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 plug. Did you know that there's a uh, there's a Discord server right there where you can talk to me and then a bunch of other people in this on this live stream? It's a fantastic Discord server. You should totally join it. It's right there. The link is just right, right there. And also, there's a, an Instagram that you should totally check out, and YouTube and Twitch if you haven't yet. Man says I was having trouble shooting. I was troubleshooting one. I I don't usually plug this much. But today is kind of a plug stream, so... Sorry? I think I'm sorry. 
I was troubleshooting why my server doesn't work on static local IP, so there are more fields. Apparently it doesn't work very well without DNS addresses, yeah. You're gonna need to actually, so there's a few things that you have to take a look at um, when setting a, a NAT address or a static NAT address is usually when you set a static NAT address, you also have to set your DNS servers. Uh, DHCP normally serves both an IP address and a DNS uh, server. Another thing to look at is to make sure that your the IP address that you're assigning is actually within the range of the uh, router's NAT. Because if the router can't route traffic to that IP address, then that's kind of a problem. It says I know. Good, I hope so. As Den knows the fields, yeah. Yeah, basically. Um, I think on Windows, if you leave them blank, they should get DHCP DNS, but I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. So, our uh, last topic, well, I say last topic, not our last topic. We're gonna we're gonna kind of chat about some of the stuff today, but um, the last topic I wanted to kind of touch on before we start chatting about all this stuff and kind of getting into the actual stream was uh, this whole Iranian state hackers thing. Now they don't. Oh, I didn't know that. Weird. I don't know why that would be the case. Hmm. But yeah, so <laughs> so. Uh, let me just read this first sentence, because this is just beautiful. Uh, Iranian state hackers got caught with their pants down recently when researchers uncovered more than 40 gigabytes of data, including training videos showing how operatives hack adversaries' online accounts and then cover their tracks. That is amazing. This is something you don't really see very often. Uh, Dan says, I got the gateway to, uh, and mask, but didn't give me the DNS. Huh, weird. I used to, or maybe I'm imagining things, but yeah. Oh, just set a custom DNS server and it's fine. Uh, so basically, this, uh, this, uh, it's called ITG18. Oh, hey, it's an IP gentleman. How's it going? Um, yeah, it's called ITG18. Uh, back from the dead. Good. I'm glad that you're here. Hi, I saw you. <laughs> okay. And so this is a an Iranian hacking group, and apparently uh, they've been targeting uh, U.S. Pre presidential campaigns and U.S. government officials. So uh, I'll read this paragraph as well. In May, IBM's X-Force Iris security team obtained more obtained the 40 gigabyte cache of data as it was being uploaded to a server that hosted multiple domains known to be used earlier this year by ITG18. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, the leaked training tape suite, yes. Yeah, she ran away, that's okay. Um, the most telling con contents were training videos that captured the group's tactics, techniques, and procedures as group members performed real hacks on email and social media accounts belonging to adversaries. So this is unique in that you very often don't get to see what goes on behind the scenes from an attacker's perspective. It's very rare that attackers, especially state attackers, will record themselves doing anything because the process is, well, one, the process is kind of secretive, and two, it's just not something that's done. So seeing like basically these Iranian state-sponsored attackers, like watching them, uh, watching what they do, how they work, seeing their every move on video, is incredible and just being able to kind of figure out how they work essentially and th this is only I, I get that this is only like one country i don't know if we're ever going to see like chinese uh, videos or uh, russian videos but at the very least we can actually see how a state-sponsored attacker does things um so we just like the common folk, at least as far as I'm aware, there should be videos somewhere. We can actually take a look at those, and I think uh, just the common people can say like, oh, this is how I would be attacked. Was there any word about whether these videos would be released to the public? And that was kind of one of the things that I was looking at. 
I would like to know if this, these videos got published. So let's take a look. ITG. Are they anywhere? Let's find out. Uh, so there's Technica, Wired. Uh, I'm not seeing anything, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything where... Where is the video maybe download or something? Uh, I ran out of Netflix series, so that's something to watch, I know, right? 40 gigabytes, so like many hours of Iranian uh, training videos. Uh, Dare Denise says, are you Iranian? No, I'm not. I am, I am full-blooded American. America. Uh, if they were, I imagine some translation would be, need to be done first anyway. I mean, ju even just watching the video, like, just watching what, you know, what they type in or what websites they get to, I'm sure would be hugely beneficial, even if they're not translated. But I'm not seeing anywhere that the videos might be. No. It doesn't look like, uh... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any actual videos. There's images, but no videos. That sucks. Oh well. Yeah, it does suck, but it's... Ultimately, it's whatever. At, at the end of the day, they've kind of released the information that we need anyway as just regular people. It would just be really interesting to see the videos as like a, you know, a cybersecurity person, right? But at the end of the day, they've released all the information that the public would even need to know. Honestly, it's basically this is how they work in a general sense. And this is what you need to watch out for, which is fine. It's yeah, it's really not the end, end of the world. Also, hey, hi, dear tonight. Sorry, I didn't say hello. But yeah, that's kind of the, the whole idea. Um, it's neat and I want to see more, but unfortunately there is no more yet. I'm hoping one day the videos will get released and we can actually watch them. That would be awesome. But if they were somewhere, it would be the, uh, it would be Onion probably. You mean Tor? You mean yeah, the Tor network? Maybe. I doubt it though. Like if IBM is the people who caught caught it, they're not going to just release the videos on you know the dark web or deep web. That's not, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Sorry. But it is interesting anyway. I'm glad that, I'm kind of, well, I'm, I'm glad that the United States was able to capture, you know, intelligence that is being used against the United States. I'm glad that that's happening. That's good. Um... <laughs> Because, you know, we always want to be on top of everything. That's, that, that is a good thing. Being able to actively defend against this kind of thing. Yes, yes, please. But one more thing I wanted to kind of touch on before I, I release, uh, kind of just the stream into a coffee and chat stream was this other, what is this? Not, not you, not you. Uh, this other thing that was going on on Twitch, I don't know if it's still going on. Let me see here. I'm trying to like open up Twitch and mute everything at the same time. There we go. Uh, yes? No? We will have to do a search, let me see. This is not, this, that's not working. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> All right, I'll find it, but um, it's some some sort of like Twitch streamer that's doing scams or scamming the scammers, I think is what it's called. It looks interesting. I wanted to kind of watch it with you. There, uh, Dan says there are probably some people inside capable of leaking it. Probably, yeah. I mean, that's the... The, the whole thing with this was that um, the Iranian attackers OPSEC completely failed and somehow Either IBM gained control of this website that the, uh, this, what is it, ITG18 was using to upload the videos, or I think what happened here was they, uh, IBM was controlling the wires, 
Yeah, so IBM was controlling the backbone, um, much like level 3, and the uploads were in clear text, they weren't HTTPS uploads, so, so they were just able to capture them as they were going through, because dumbasses happen. <laughs> it was really dumb. Oh yeah, VOD's not his streams on YouTube, yeah. I was just watching him today, says Dan, nice. So I'm not the only one, good. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of wanted to get, like, watch, I guess, yeah. I'm glad I'm not the only one who's actually seen this guy. Uh, scamming Scammers, I think is what it's called or something. It looks well put together. Yes, it's this guy. So we've all dealt with scam. Oops, not, that's not, that's not it. <laughs> scam baiting as well, yeah, it's scam baiting is the, is the thing. But it's this so particular scam, person. Right? Where? Why didn't that pause? Just like no, fuck you. Uh. I don't. Who is the Twitch streamer though? <laughs> uh, Jim Browning is also a good one to watch. Awesome, that's good. Uh, he does go through steps to actually try and take the scammers down. Yeah, and I wish they would actually link, They all they have is like follow us on Twitter and stuff. It's like I wish they would just link this person instead of... Okay, well whatever. It's fine. It's not the end of the world. Before we move on to doing that, I want to... Oh, is, it the, is that the channel? I'm sure he has a, a prettier channel URL. I'm sure he has. Yeah, one point hold on, hold on. What? Jesus Christ. 1.09 million subscribers. I'm sure he has his own custom pretty URL for YouTube. It's uh, Kit Boga, yes, is the person. It's, I don't know why he has that strange name. It's just very odd. It's hard to remember. But yes, uh, very quickly, before we do that, I want to mention that, by the way, there is a Discord right there that you should totally join. That's my Discord for the streams. That's, that's, the, that's the Discord I created. It used to be private, it used to be Patreon only, but now it's open to the public. You should totally join it if you haven't already. Also, there's a Instagram and Twitch and YouTube. If you haven't seen those, you should totally check them out. They're awesome. Go for it. Uh, this is this is plug the stream. So, <laughs> I did want to take a look at uh, Kit Boga's channel. That's what it is. I, I was watching him earlier on Twitch just a little bit. Um, it's not... It's not really my style, I'm always kind of... I, w I always... When I watch those kinds of Twitch channels, or when I watch those kinds of videos or, or streams or whatever, where like it's like scamming the scammers kind of thing, it's always like uncomfortable for me to watch. But he's entertaining, so that's always good. Um, yeah. I, I'm not a fan of scam baiting it's it's just kind of one of those gray areas that's like a little uncomfortable for me but yeah well he has a weird name and you have an onboard chicken and random number in your name <laughs> that's true uh i guess those in glass houses uh yes fair enough <laughs> I, that is understandable <laughs> but it's still a weird name <laughs> i just also live in a glass house so, it looks like he has VODs and also edited videos, and I wanted to take a look at maybe one of his edited videos, because watching YouTube on stream is always a good idea. <laughs> it never backfires, never. Uh, ever. <laughs> so, let me open up uh, Firefox here, and let us take a look at his most recent one, which looks interesting. Yes, it pauses automatically, good. Glass houses, glass houses. They are so good. Uh, yeah, um, I mean, it's it's half an hour. It's like, uh, not half an hour, it's 25 minutes. Let's see, social security accept, uh, scam except I plead guilty. This, yeah, this looks fun. We can watch it. It sounds awesome. Let me go ahead and switch to the uh, dual screen mode. Hey look, dual screen mode. Hey look, there's still a uh, discord.gg link right there. You should totally join the discord. It's right there. <laughs> I'm good at this. Plug, 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 plug. I'm so sorry. 
Oh uh, yeah, let's take a look at this. Uh, this looks interesting and fun. <laughs> and totally worth watching. Just wait a moment. 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 Is this on? Yeah, 1080p. Cool. I'd love to see a full confession. Well, usually what happens is they just... I Okay, one, one thing that I noticed while watching his Twitch or his YouTube is that he always wears these, like, aviators. Aviators? Avi something? I think they're aviators is what they're called. He always wears these glasses. My question is why? I Well, I have two questions. One, why why the sunglasses? I Like, I'm just kind of curious. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just wondering why the sunglasses. And two, uh, he constantly switches these backgrounds. <laughs> like... There, there was like this weird like transition kind of thing where um, it was this like old grandpa with with, you know, what what is it? Uh, the binoculars and was looking at him at, like in his house kind of. It was so strange. I just don't get it. It's fine. I just don't understand it. I literally got that video recommended a while ago. Uh, maybe it's the setup lighting is too bright. My lighting is really bright too. I, unfortunately, I only have one light. I'm actually supposed to have two, um, but I couldn't afford to. And also, they only had one at Micro Center. They were, I bought the last one that they had. So I will have to get a second one over here. That way there's more uh, even lighting on my face at some point. But this one's also bright, but I, I'm not wearing sunglasses. These have uh, these are transition lenses, and they haven't, they haven't gone dark yet. It's just so strange. I don't understand, but eh. Maybe he's too high, I guess. Also, keep in mind the streams go on for a long time, five to ten hours. Yeah, I know. I've, I've seen the streams go for a super long time. It is insane how long he keeps those like scammers on the phone for. There are better ways to tie up scam lines, but but um, they are entertaining videos. So I'll admit. So yeah, let's take a look. Um, yes, uh, Streamlabs is pointing out that I, uh, I now have a Discord. If you'd like to join, the link is in right there, actually, and also right there, so you should totally join. That's awesome. End up hanging up. They, they go, F you, and hang up. It doesn't turn into a big thing. I can, I can try it for you really quick, but... ScanBeaterBlaster.com. Oh, okay. EA Drug Enforcement Administration. How may I help you? I, I got the call uh, from you guys about an hour ago, maybe two hours ago. The, the voice changer is pretty good, to be fair. Like, I also have a voice changer. Um, I just don't use it very often. I I should I should totally use, start like using my voice changer more, uh, because it is quite fun, uh, and a lot of people seem to like it. But the voice changer on here does make sense because he's trying to like impersonate different people and make it seem real. But for me, it would just be fun. My name is Officer David Wilson, and I work for the Department of Drug Enforcement Administration Office. Okay. First of all, sir, uh, first of all, ma'am, can ma you help me out with your first and last name, ma'am? Yeah, Angela. And your last name? Okay. Your last name, your first name is Angela, right? No, Angelica. Angelica. And yeah. your, this is your first name, right? Yes. And your last name, ma'am? Miller. <laughs> David Wilson, sure, that's real. I know, right? Uh, it's fine. I was going to do the Rugrats Sorry. character and then realized your last name is Pickles. Uh, now, ma'am, the reason of this call is to inform you about the intimation to suspend your social security number. Oh, we God. have found some suspicious fraudulent activities being carried out oh, under God. your social security number, which seems entirely oh, no. illegal. So I would like to ask you that, have you ever been oh, to this shit. state of taxes before? Yes. All right. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah. Just, just, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What what kind of scam is this anyway? Uh, social security scam. Um, is it? It's one of those classic ones. I think it's basically like, hey, your social security card is compromised. Give us your social security number. 
Or is it your social security card is compromised, pay us money? Um, one of those two, right? It's either like, give us your social security number and name so that way we can impersonate you and create credit cards in your name, or it's, um, give us money. Because money. I can't remember which one. Uh, I, it could, it could go either way. But I'm not sure which one is more common. Yeah, no, it, it could, it could be both. I'm just not sure which one is more common. I think... I would, I would say maybe, um, give us your, your name and social security number would be more common, because... Banks are a hassle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sounds like my mother on the phone. Yeah, 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 no, 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 yeah, 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 no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> because your social security number has been. Oh, hey, thank you so much for the follow, K4 Intel. K4 Intel. I apologize if I pronounced that incorrectly. Uh, I tried. I'm sorry. <laughs> If I butchered that, let me know. I hope I didn't. In compromise, that is the reason ma'am you received this phone call. So we have to receive a legal complaint against you and your social security number as we have found some okay. fraudulent and criminal activities under your social. Yeah, so this is where they set up like, oh, hey, we your social security number has been compromised and then they'll ask for something. But we'll find out what. Uh, gift cards are typically more profitable and less likely to attract attention. That's true. I just think like, I don't know, if you if you can pull it off, the um, just buying or getting credit cards in somebody else's name sounds really profitable. <laughs> so do you want me to give you more information right now or shall we proceed further with the legal procedure and suspend your social security number? What? Okay, what do you what do you Sorry. know about it? What yeah, go what do you know? What <laughs> this, this guy's acting is on point. It's fantastic. Hi. Hi. So Google says it's not supposed to rain. Uh huh. Apple says it's not supposed to rain. Uh huh. The Weather Channel says it's not supposed to rain. Uh huh. But if you look outside, it looks like rain. Yeah, daily forecast of mine says uh, zero percent chance of rain too. But look. It does look like it's gonna rain. In like, fact, it looks like it's gonna rain. That's super nice because uh, it's fucking hot. Otherwise, uh, no, cloud I, cover is good. I agree, it is nice. But I'm like looking outside, and I'm like, Google, Apple, and the Weather Channel both all must be drunk. It it does make the stream look a lot darker than it it's supposed to be, though. Also, yeah. Hey, so I need four thousand dollars in gift cards. <laughs> exactly. Your social security number has been compromised. Hey, do you have four thousand dollars? You can buy gift cards with. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, it does make the stream look a lot darker than it should be, but oh well. I'm just like, I'm looking at, like, outside <laughs> and the weather, and you would think that both, like, all Apple, Google, and the Weather Channel, and freaking, like, the local news channel would look outside and say, hey, maybe we should, you know, look at the um weather radar thing i can't remember what it's called <laughs> the weather radar thing yeah that uh-huh what is it called i know like, no, the just... weather people are called meteorologists but what's the weather predictor thing called i don't know i don't either and <laughs> you'd think that they would relook at it and say huh it's getting really dark and really cloudy and really windy and kind of thundering doesn't mean it's gonna rain though but it's thundering yeah, it doesn't mean it's going to rain. Sometimes it doesn't. But uh, also, yeah, um, there are a lot of convenience stores won't let the elderly purchase large amount of gift cards. That, yeah, I understand The Doppler that. radar. Thank Doppler, you, yes. Ah, uh, Doppler. Also, yeah, weathermen can't predict the future. I, it's, to be fair, a 0% chance of rain is usually pretty accurate. So I, I'm a like little curious. Huge storm clouds and it's like extremely windy outside yeah, right now. Yeah, I have to wonder like how they didn't see that coming. But, um, yeah, sometimes they make mistakes. It's fine. They're human, but the Doppler radar is technology. And technology, 99% of the time, is pretty accurate. Well, that's the 1% right here. <laughs> maybe you and IP gentlemen need to like go into their thing and look and see if maybe there's like a virus a witch? or something. A oh, yeah, clear. yeah. And... A witch. Burn her! Burn hey. her at the stake! Wait, does she weigh less than a duck? 
<laughs> I think you're the only one that got that reference. No, I'm definitely not the only one that got that reference. The guy on the phone sent me too much money, so I need to return him $4,000 in gift cards. <laughs> exactly. Oh, oh, beautiful. Um, actually, the, the one that I was watching him do, this guy in particular, do earlier today on Twitch, uh, was him, I guess he set up a fake bank, um, it's but... It's freaking raining! <laughs> hey, excellent. Oh my, I just got hit with water. Awesome. Well, that's good. That means it'll be cooler. But yeah, so this guy was uh, set up a fake bank account, but what happened was the scammers withdrew $4,000 from the account and then told him that they accidentally sent him $4,000 and that he'd need to send them $4,000 back or like $2,000 back. So not only did they withdraw $4,000, but they then said, oh, by the way, we sent you $4,000 instead of withdrawing $4,000, and we need you to send us $2,000 of that back. So they would, like, withdraw $4,000, and then they would get the person to send them an extra $2,000. If it didn't work, they wouldn't do it. People actually fall for that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, people actually fall for it. If, they did, if it didn't work, they wouldn't do it. Yeah, people are dumb. Or old, or both. <laughs> Weather app. That's thunder! And it says that it's not gonna rain. I'm sorry, I'm like very on this because I'm very upset about the fact that <laughs> Google, Apple, and the Weather Channel, and the local news channel said that it wasn't gonna rain, and here it is, there's droplets on the freaking cement, and it's thundering. But, I mean, I'm not complaining, because that's nice. Because that means, you know, it's not gonna be 90 fucking degrees plus. <laughs> and it probably will. It's just probably gonna get really humid. Well, humid isn't bad, but I mean, like, it's already cooler. I can feel it. Uh, yeah, he has several fake bank sites. Uh, he actually, like, custom wrote a couple of them, which is awesome. He also has a copy of the Google Play Store where you can submit fake gift card codes. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I, I just watched this guy for, like, the first time yeah, earlier today, actually, and I thought it was kind of nice. It was, It's fun, it's neat. Um, it's, it's a little bit cringy. I, it's a little uncomfortable for me to watch these types of things. Scam baiting is always something that's always kind of uncomfortable for me to watch. Um, a little cringy-ish. Uh, but this guy does it pretty well, so, eh, yeah. I have a question. Reactions from scammers when he redeems the cards instead of giving him the codes is priceless. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he does that part really well. What's up? Why is wigs, sunglasses pecan sandies and prune juice in the same aisle? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not sure. Yeah. Huh. Like, those things hmm. have nothing. Wigs, to... sunglasses, pecan sandies, and prune juice. They have nothing. I'm sure that's a reference to something that he's done earlier. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna go back into the bedroom and complain ask. about the uh, the weather silently. No, I might call Rachel and bitch at her. Oh, okay. Well, complain about the weather, men. I, again, I, I'm I'm sure like I like the weather. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with the weather too because it's actually cool. It's actually like starting to cool down. Suddenly, just... we're on two topics at the same time. It's beautiful. I know, right? That's pretty much how our conversations go, though. <laughs> like you're talking about one thing, I'm talking about another thing, and yet somehow we can keep up with each other. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if anyone on stream can keep up though. <laughs> well, they, I'm pretty sure Daniel can because he's a OG, uh... and IP gentleman can because he's been around us. <laughs> for quite some time. So it's a little whiplashy, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm pretty sure the only two people that can keep up is IP Gentleman and Daniel. <laughs> but yeah, it's... Usually when he plays the old lady, he wears a wig, and I'm sure Prune Juice gets mentioned somewhere. I guarantee that, like, all of those, like, fixations, MS certs, Learn to Lie, whatever cookbook, I'm sure all of those are referenced as to something that's happened somewhere along the streams. He's been doing this for a long time, so... I'm just some asshole on the internet commenting on what he's doing. <laughs> so many things I can comment about that. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, also, yes, I definitely need another light over here. You can see the, the shadows that are coming off the side of my face. It, it makes me look like a creeper. <laughs> you are a creeper. I know I'm a creeper, but it makes me look like one, which is a bad thing. Well, when we get back...
back from Vegas. All right, sounds good. All right, let's uh, let's continue watching this. It okay. looks fun. Have fun. You enjoy. Yeah. I can think about forty-two things at once. I'm good. I can think of the number forty-two, the life, the universe, and everything at once. Like, <laughs> what do you actually know about it? Ma'am, do you want me to give you more information right now? <laughs> yes. Acting is on point. All right. So this is a very important information. So in, or, in order to verify your identity, first, can you verify me the your last four digit of your social? Are we sure this guy doesn't work in Hollywood? Social and date of birth, so we can disclose each and every information regarding this suspension because this is a very important information. Also, you gotta you gotta remember the guy on the other end thinks that this is some woman who's crying about the fact that like her social security card is compromised, and yet he's still scamming her. So this guy is a dick and has no morals. I'm not giving this information to any kind of wrong person or third person. So that is the reason I need to verify last four digit of social. It's yeah, it's three four. Two, four. Three, four. Two, four. I probably shouldn't be crying right now. Actually. Okay, ma'am. Thank you for holding the line. Jesus Christ. Why are you running with a hyper-threaded 12-core processor, I see. Exactly. <laughs> 42 is nice and 69 changed my mind. Only if it's 42.0. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Dan says, I wish my laptop was it. I can't keep up with my mind. <laughs> Uh, I, I love my processor, it's beautiful. It's, uh, what, 8 core 16 threads? Yeah. Ryzen 7. 3700X. Yeah. You verify me all this information. This is a valid information. Now, I'm giving you more information. So, first of all, uh, just grab a pen and paper handy and write yeah. it down. My name and my government batch ID number for future <laughs> information, okay? So first of all, you will grab it. My government badge ID number. Uh-huh. So official. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Also, yes, I have a Discord. You should totally check it out. It's right there in the link. In, it, it's there. The links are in the chat. And uh, there's also a link right there. You should totally join it right there. Boom. I'm good at this. The pen and paper, then let me know. I have, I have an officer. It's fine. Just tell me what you know. All right. So first of all, also, ma'am, write to down my serious? name. My name is Officer <laughs> David D A V I D. David. David Willie Wilson. Yeah, I got. I got. Wilson. And what do you know? Write to down my you, what do you know, mate. David? What did you find? What? It's grade A acting. It's beautiful. <laughs> Uh, Dan says my thinking often requires 666 tab tabs open at once, so neither my processor or RAM can keep up. Oh, yeah. You don't have one? No, no. Yeah, my, my government badge number is um, uh, 4206969 uh, uh, 666-1358. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah. So I'm often searching on my laptop desktop and phone at once, Jesus. My government batch ID number, it is A like Apple, then uh -huh. 19575. Yeah, I'm writing it down, I care. Before <laughs> I care. We proceed further, let me inform you that this is a federally recorded line. Anything you say can be... Oh shit, I forgot, yeah, yeah, uh, 1337 is my, um is my uh, tag for the badge because you have to have the badge number and, and also a tag ID. Well, that's one one three three seven. Used in your favor or I, I don't know. you in the court of law. I know, this I know. Is on a or a game Wait, what the fuck? Line. Anything you say can be used in your favor or against you in the court of law. I know, this I know. Is on a, I know. This call is on a five-way conference with U.S. Treasury Department, Financial oh Crime Enforcement Network, <laughs> Department of Justice, the U.S. Department <laughs> of Homeland Security, Cradle Trade Commission. And this is like throwing out all the names. 
Like, here's your alphabet soup. You might as well have gone like, the NSA is also listening and the DOD and, oh god. Also, yeah, 3.1415926. and U.S. Marshal Services, so be honest. What the hell is the Department of Homeland Security going to do about it exactly? <laughs> just throwing in alphabet soup at this point. Fuck it, just all the three-letter agencies are in on this call. <laughs> this call is on a conference call from the, with the President of the United States, you know, several White House officials are, are listening to this random fucking person with their crying about their social security number. <laughs> Zero point four, so Jesus. So I'm gonna need to binge watch Jake's videos to get him out of revenue on YouTube. That's beautiful. <laughs> as much as possible, and you would be made aware of your rights before the call ends. And please do not interrupt me over this recorded line till I complete my part. You will get a fair chance to speak and question I once I complete you. myself. Again, this so this guy on the other line thinks he's talking to some like middle-aged woman who's crying, like literally, literally crying about her uh, her social security number going missing or whatever, and yet he's still scamming her her this fucking asshole he deserves everything coming to him okay. and don't cry don't i told cry, him okay, we first. shouldn't do what i told i told my husband hello sorry i'm not giving any other information sorry, go ahead. Ma'am, because go, you have sorry. cry <laughs> go ahead jesus christ ma'am also the acting is still great eh this is a this is a very important you information. But I know. you first of all you you listen to very carefully all this information. Okay. Then I will talk to this case file. But first of all I'm giving you this information very important and listen. Okay? Now according to the <laughs> investigation <laughs> report. <laughs> Well, it's only 166 days of watch time to, to get to the other 2,000 hours. That's not bad, actually. <laughs> what was that? Okay. Now. <laughs> uh, this guy follies. To the investigation report, it say that there are three reasons for this call. First one, there are multiple addresses listed under your name second one there are four counts of drug possession and abuse <laughs> listed wait what the fuck how did this go from social security number to drug possession <laughs> it's like went from zero to 60 real fucking fast <laughs> what the shit happened the yard so are four counts of drug possession <laughs> To four counts of drug possession. Jesus Christ! And abuse listed under your social. Oh, only and third four. One, we have oh, received. <laughs> only four! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drug possession is filed under the SSM, exactly. <laughs> we complain file under your name and your social. As your social found suspicious by doing some fraudulent activities and try to defraud the government of USA with counts of money laundering under Saxon PC. Tried to defraud the government of USA. Yes, I am native English speaker. <laughs> uh, that's how that stuff is dragged, exactly. <laughs> Grandma just got... Oh, thank God, they didn't see Grandma in the kitchen. Oh, whew! <laughs> and money laundering in order to defraud the go the government of the U.S. Yes, of course. That you want see, as well as we have okay. got a strong evidence. Jesus Christ! This guy keeps going. Fuck me, man. That was not an innocent act or negligence. This was a willful act done with the intent to do <laughs> feeling when grandma is Walter White. <laughs> oh, that's where he disappeared too. 
Also, yes, holy shit, this guy keeps going. Scan script is worse than anything on r slash master hacker. Yeah, r slash master hacker is amazing. But Jesus, like how far is this guy gonna go? He's just gonna keep adding shit to this per this poor woman's like, you know, warrant record, whatever, whatever. I don't even know what the fuck they're doing at this point. Just scaring. It's just scare tactics, but Jesus. The fraudic government. Now, okay. as you know, there are many addresses listed under your social. Yeah, so yeah, please yeah. confirm which one of these addresses is your main address. Oh yeah, okay. So basically they're getting information on this person to currently, as far as I can tell, uh, they're getting information on this person to basically use the information later so they can make new credit cards in their name. Just information. They they probably have some addresses that they that they because of public records and things. Um, they probably have some addresses, and they're gonna ask to confirm the social security number, the addresses, um, basically uh, first name, last name, basically anything that they can to uh, anything that they need in order to create new credit cards. Defraud the government is my new favorite new phrase. <laughs> How do you defraud a government? That's a new one to me, but okay. And my, so my guess is that they're, they're basically going to ask for any information that somebody would need to impersonate you to create new credit cards in your name. First address, it is That's where my bet are. bets are. East 16th Avenue, Houston, Texas. Nope. Oh, yeah, I love this guy. Scammers are on a new level ACs. Yeah, the, no, it's... The, this guy is awesome, I think. Also, yes, hello, see all that programmer. Uh, welcome. Also, Discord. There's a new Discord right there if you'd like to join it. Um, the link is right right there. The Discord.gg. She totally joined it. It's awesome. That's a burner. 7009. Nope. Second address, it is 7602 Monterey Drive, El nope. Paso, Texas, 79915. Nope. Nope. So, yeah, my, my guess here is that, hey... We got IP gentleman and that programmer joined. Um, so yes, my guess here is, or my bets are placed on, yeah, my bets are placed on that they're just gonna ask for any information that they need to create credit cards in their name. That's where my bet is right now. One nine six eight one Walnut Court for oh Lord Texas seven six one one two, and last one it is eight two four wow, one really South yeah. Seffield Street, Dallas, Texas. Okay, sir, before you continue, before you continue uh, officer, I just want to be clear. Is that all you got? You only have those four addresses? Because <laughs> I have like 50 more. Yeah. Four addresses, yes. Okay. Any one your main address. And you said you there were four counts of drug? What was it? Uh, yes, four, there, there was only four counts of uh, drug possession and only four addresses. Thank God they didn't notice the other uh, five places that I lived at where I made crack. <laughs> you just admit when one of those addresses was a burner? <laughs> That's beautiful. Anyone your main address, ma'am? Is this four address? No, I just want to find out, how, hypothetically speaking, if, hypothetically speaking, if I was guilty, uh, how many years in prison would I be facing? <laughs> Except I plead guilty. That's awesome. Good thing they don't know about the human trafficking exactly. <laughs> oh god. Oh thank god they don't know about anything else that I've done. For these four. Marge! Marge! Marge, get the, get the goat! It's sacrifice day! Counts. I'm sorry. You said you only have four counts of drug charges, correct? Four different ones. There are uh, yeah, four counts of drug possession. Yeah, and hypothetically, if I was guilty, how long would I go to prison for the four? For just the four, because you only found four, correct? Just four. You're going to get the stream flagged, probably. Good thing the stream is 18 plus. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Oh, thank God. Correct. Uh, yeah, and how and how long do I there go to jail for? Counts. How long would I go to jail for? Oh, thank God. For? No, I'm... Because, listen, no, ma'am. Officer, listen. I, listen can, to me. I told... Uh, listen, I, this is very important to me. We can... 
How long would I go to jail has... if, for just the four years? Or the four counts of... Oh. of I damn burned his coil again. I'm telling you, Dan, that's, that's the universe. The universe is speaking to you. Yeah, yeah, the universe is, is speaking to you and telling you to stop vaping. That's all I want to know. I'd like to think there are shittier people out there than who have chatted worse on Twitch. It's entirely fair. I'll take the deal. You know what? I'll take the deal. We can. I'll take the deal. We can. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take the deal. I'll take the deal. <laughs> oh no, this poor scammer's like, wait, what do you, what are you talking about? Four counts. That's. Fine. I'm so engaging in these streams, I forget to check the tank. Dan, why? I'm telling you, it's it's the universe. Yeah, definitely the universe telling you to stop vaping. I'm also telling you to stop vaping. I'm telling you to stop vaping, Dan. Brief. It's bad for you. <laughs> okay, and ma'am, I'll take it. We can find out who has used your personal information. I'm not sure who has used your personal information, understand. maybe around uh, any other person you are using your personal information, but I'm not sure. We can find- Right, right. I, I'm thinking the same thing here. He's, this guy at the other end of the line is just trying to like get through his script and he's like, The fuck are you talking about? I wonder what's going through this camera's mind when this guy says the stuff he does. Probably nothing. Okay, as, as someone who has worked in the call center before and had a script to read, I will tell you right now that he's probably thinking, shut the fuck up so I can get through my script. As, as someone who has been in his shoes, except not scamming people, actually working for a legit call center. That's the second time, 40 more and I'm stopping. Maybe. The universe telling you to stop vaping, otherwise you may get all jacked on goofballs and do something crazy like defund the government. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, um, yes, it, with experience and working in, pre in call centers previously, he's probably thinking, shut the fuck up so I can run through my script and then I'll deal with your problems. Find out. That is the reason you <laughs> receive a phone call. If you cooperate with the government, so we can yes, find out I, who has I, used I, I your will cooperate. I take the deal. My I take the deal. The I don't know what deal's being offered, but I take it. I take it. They got okay. me in this mess. We take the deal. Yes. Yes. All right. So yes. the investigation began under your name and your <sighs> social when we recover an abandoned car in south border you of Texas. You found the car? The <laughs> <laughs> Just on point. Doesn't miss a beat. Goes, you found the car? <laughs> that is amazing. It doesn't even miss a beat on it. Just goes, wait, you found the car. Oh my god, that is beautiful. <laughs> car, yeah, the car making model of the vehicle was Toyota Corolla with the- The scammer's just going along with it like, it, it, yeah, yeah, we, we found the car. V-I-N number, you. it is T- I told you not to park the car! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, when you actually take a chance to pick up on everything in this video, it does make you chuckle a bit. It... Just the... <laughs> the <back laughs> I told you not to park the car there, that is... The most amazing... <laughs> He's just rolling with it, it's amazing, like... He has no knowledge of this script, and he's just rolling with everything that's going on. This man is an expert. Like, hang on, let's rewatch that. Yeah, the car make and model of the vehicle was Toyota Corolla with the VIN number. You. It is T. I told you not to park the car there. Mm. God, you Matt, found the car. Hear me? Great, you found the car. Okay, go ahead. Hello. Did you find anything in the car or did this, he clean it? Did you find it? You this got, car was... Ma'am, don't interrupt me over this recorded line, okay? 
Yeah, what did you find in the car? Was it clean? What was in it? <laughs> Don't interrupt me, ma'am. Or what is this record? It's lying. Do you like complete? He's just trying so hard just to get through the script. <laughs> that guy, that guy has more patience than I do. Take my part. Okay, go ahead. Fair chance to speak and yeah, yeah, yeah. the end. Yeah, go ahead. Because yeah. this car was laying idle on the street and locals reported about the car to be suspicious. He can't be listening After to which the local sheriff yeah. investigated the car and found all, blood like... and truck traces in the car. <laughs> he can't, he must the not be listening they found to me. He's not listening at all. 7915. Honey, you need to start packing the, the bag second right now. The second address in El Paso, Texas that I'm talking about uh -huh. is already a suspicious address which is rated by the State Rangers Division and the U.S. Marshals. And they found a consignment of 22 pounds of cocaine which is a category... I'm sorry, how many pounds? 22 pounds of cocaine, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you can't get... I'm feeling when you can't get through accusations because the suspect confessed his purpose. <laughs> <laughs> this feels like this feels like an I need a lawyer moment, <laughs> but that is amazing. How many pounds? Action. How many pounds? How many pounds? Twenty-two pounds of cocaine. Oh wow! Which okay. is rated by the okay, only tw only twenty-two then. Well only okay. I I knew where he was going for it. I was sitting here like he's gonna he's gonna go for it. Only twenty pounds? You okay? Somebody who stole the rest. <laughs> Wow, only 22. Mark? Mark, was that you? Mark, you bastard! Did you steal the rest of the cocaine? I was supposed to be delivered to our customer. Some papers um, and documentation of financial This is an issue. You know those people don't you mean business. They're gonna break our kneecaps. Institution like Bank of America. Wow. They're missing their cocaine. They're gonna have- we're, we're gonna have some problems here. The Chase Bank and five businesses accounts under your name and your yep. social security number. Transaction we are met to yep. narco property. I was telling, my husband, I was Mexico, telling him that. I kept Colombia. telling him that. Over and over, I told him. Now, before we I transfer this call to your treasury. You <laughs> oh my god. I told you they were following the money. That is amazing. God. Is that how, is that how now, you broke the case? Listen, was it the car or was it the money transfer, thing? The car or the money thing? Before I would, I would give up at this point. If I were the scammer, I would just be, I would straight give up. I would just be like, I'm done. I'm out. You win. <laughs> we get shouldn't have run his cocaine news. This is money through laundering schemes under, under his SSN. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Man. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, this guy has way more patience and way, a way higher tolerance for, for nonsense than I do. I, again, if I were in the scammer's shoes, I would have just, I would have broken at this point. This guy would have broke me. We trans Before we transfer this call to wow. U.S. Treasury Department for further investigation. That uh, program programmer says be right back. All right, enjoy. <laughs> we'll be here, don't worry. We don't have any. We The last car we had, we, we left in Texas. You found it. So. All right, and and second address it is how many financial institute you are banking with, like how many bank accounts do you have? Great. Oh my God! Take notes, criminals. No SSN equals untraceable crimes. I know. All right, so they're asking how many bank accounts they own because they want to know how many more credit cards they can open in these people's name. Guaranteed. Used. Um, we keep all of our money uh, in cash or gold. Or We're things going. like, uh, like, uh, offshore accounts, right now, stuff like that. How <laughs> we keep everything in cash, gold, and offshore accounts. Oh, this is beautiful. This is so brilliant. I love it. Again, it's kind of cringy, and part of me is just like, uh, I want to stop watching. But, I, it's just so funny. How many bank, how many bank accounts do you have currently? None. Use? Zero. We don't have any. And how much we use, we use in different your... accounts and different. They should go for Monero. <laughs> I know. Oh no. <laughs> Poor Monero. Every gentleman says all our savings is in Manny's jars buried in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> 
different people's names to move the money around. Like, I shouldn't be telling you. <laughs> I even missed that. Wow. I, I stopped a little early. Hang on. Zero. We don't have any. And how much we use, we use in different your... accounts and different people's names to move the money around. Like, I shouldn't be telling you. <laughs> oh my god. But still, somehow, the same social security number. <laughs> All right, and how much how much is available in your hard money? I have cash. Um, six hundred thousand right now. <laughs> six hundred thousand. Yeah. Under, the under the mattress in, in the car, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> in in the car that you found, of course. <laughs> To tell me, did you find any money in that vehicle? It wasn't just cocaine, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, by the way, for those of us, for those just joining, I apologize. <laughs> See how that programmer is back. Hello, welcome, welcome back. Uh, hi, I'm Dad. Uh, that uh, that failed. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hi, back. I'm Dad. There. I we rewind and replace the clip with with that. <laughs> Uh, for those of uh, for, for those of you just joining us, um, there's a Discord right there that you can that you can join in. There Discord link right there. It's awesome. You should totally join. It's it's great. Please join. <laughs> All right, enjoy. Uh, we're we're gonna keep watching. <laughs> These government organizations were able to blow up in a turquoise case with just the SSN, but they don't know how many bank accounts he has. I know. It's thinking the same thing. Like when they investigate you, they find. Everything. They find things that you forgot about. Uh, you found you, the car? Did you York? find? Sir, did you find anything else? Uh, if you didn't legally exist, you can't be a criminal. Uh, <laughs> Toyota the, Corolla. Toyota yeah, Corolla. Uh, uh, yeah, I know the Toyota Corolla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you only found twenty-two pounds, though. That was it. <laughs> he only found twenty-two pounds. He's he's going for it really hard. He's trying so hard to make this guy break. 22 pounds of poking. Thank God. Okay. Whew. And uh, now that's only like a. Back, you only man. get like one oh. year, like maximum one. <laughs> they find the things you never knew about. They really do. They they do. Like, they will call you and they will say, "Hey, uh, by the way, that we found that uh, there's debts over here," and you'll you'll say, "No." And then you'll call and you and then you'll then you'll call those places and you'll say, hey, apparently I have debts in these accounts and those places will say, no, you don't. What are you talking about? You moron. And then you call them back and you'll say, nope, they called me a moron. <laughs> That's what happens. And then they'll dig it and then they'll call you back and say, oh, yeah, we found uh, this other person that you talked to about 20 years ago once. Uh, how, how are they been? Uh, how, how are they going? And then you say, holy fuck, I haven't talked to that person in 20 years. What the shit are you doing? They find that shit. One year in prison for 22 pounds, correct? <laughs> He's trying so hard. What's the... If I were to go to, to prison, like if I were to be arrested right now, it's not a felony, correct? They have <laughs> that probably says it's kind of creepy. Uh, it is a little scary sometimes. 22 pounds in the car? It's not a, it's not a felony, right? Right. Okay, good. All right. All right. Yes, ma'am. So please uh, stay online with me. Then Roji stepped onto the kitchen. Yeah, they talked to him too. Yeah, exactly. You remember your like third grade teacher? Yeah, neither do I, but they sure do. Uh, York was transferred to senior officer, U.S. Treasury Department, who is authorized person is in regard with to this legal case. So stay online with me. York was transferred to senior officer, right now? U.S. Treasury Department. Right now. Right now. Okay. What's yes. his name or her name? Thank you. <laughs> He's the Ouija board to talk to. Him. His or her name? Bye. Yes, yeah, senior officer, U.S. Treasury Department is Adam Morris. Adam Morris. Thank Adam you for what? holding the line. Your line has been transferred to the U.S. Treasury Department. This yeah, is the senior investigation officer, Adam Morris. How are you, Miss? How are you? Sounds like the same guy. 
It sounds like they don't even try with voice changes. Like, how how do you run a scam operation, go from one person to another, and don't use a voice changer? They're fucking free. Doing today. Honestly, Adam, I'm I'm tired. No, it's totally it's different. Different, different guy. Yeah, exactly. Miss, 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 miss. What is going on? Why is there music in the background? Hi. Please, I'm torn. I'm torn. I don't know if I, if I. Oh my god. <laughs> he's, he's going for like the. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if like rain starts going on the screen. I just want to, you know, quit running or if it's time. Oh, if I keep fighting, you know? Miss. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, see. Please calm down. First of all, listen. It's bad. Sorry. See, man. It's just listen, hard, listen, you know? Listen. Your husband. Oh my god, we it's going gray and everything. My husband and I. Holy shit. Uh-huh. How have they not hung up? It didn't start How? off like this, you don't understand. Is this post? Is this editing in post? Or can they, can they hear this? Just a little bit here they can't hear this, right? This is post. We wanted to make sure our kids uh -huh. could go to college. We wanted to make sure. Uh -huh. Darn. Miller, Darn don't well cry. sure. No, 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 no. Before don't he cry, passed please. away, try, try. that we would have... All the this guy's like, please don't cry. Please, please <laughs> stop crying, after. really. I just need your money. Three turned into seven, uh -huh. twenty-two. God, hundreds, hundreds. God, we were surrounded. But he can actually do that by itself, or is it against the law? <laughs> Wait, what? Ten? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Either him or someone similar did a scamming video where they actually brought a gift card and re bought a gift card and redeemed it for themselves while the scammer watched through team viewers. Scam screaming ensued. Apparently, it was this guy. Maybe against it's against Buddhism. <laughs> oh no! Oh oh! I see. I get where you're going with this. I understand. I took a f uh, philosophy and religion class. <laughs> it was, but not as you think. Yeah, it's um. Yeah, apparently th this guy did the same thing. Either that, or it was somebody else who copied this guy. But yeah, something similar to this. By the way, for those of us just joining, hey, Streamlabs is right on cue. There's a Discord right there. You should totally join the Discord. That's where I am, and that's where a bunch of people chat and hang out. It's great. You should totally join it right there. It's also in the link in the in the chat. And there's also Instagram, Twitter, uh, Twitch, uh, etc. in the links below. Check them out. They're awesome. Yeah, religion. That's the word. Yeah. You pretended to buy a gift card and then used a card to do it. Yeah. It's... Is a copy of Google Play website where you can redeem fake codes. Yeah, uh, we'll have to check that out one day. It sounds awesome. So it was, every, it was everywhere. Got I pressed the wrong button. We, we, we couldn't get out anymore. I kept telling my husband, it's too much. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's just a, straight up admitting to you, like, you, yeah. You buy with your soul or you leave alone? No, I'm, I'm I mean, my, my husband and I. My husband and I. We, Sorry, Officer Eric, okay. I just need to be clear with What do you have yeah, on me Miller? and my what what do you have on yeah. my husband and I and what are we being charged with, please? Just tell me. So just pick your random tell religion. Me straight, okay. please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No I games. Can explain no you. games. No no. In our criminal database and we find find out that your That was beautiful. <laughs> Fast rickets is genuine rickets. You never committed Wait, any type of crime that? before. This is the first fast rickets Wait, is genuine rickets. In our criminal database, and we find find out that your fast rickets is genuine rickets. You never committed Wait, any type of crime that? before. This is the first time. That's this not true. This is the first time you phrasing. No, what? I said no games, officer. That's not true. You darn, you know darn well when I've been arrested a dozen times. <laughs> You said no games. I've also been arrested, actually. <laughs> Believe it or not. I've legitimately been handcuffed into the back of a police car once. <laughs> Arrests. They are just... I'm not going to go there. <laughs> That'll get me uh, shut down real fast. He made it himself. He's been, he's, he used an extension in the browser to fake redeeming codes and make them work, yeah. Uh, I believe the, he also made a full working fake baking website. He did. Uh, in fact, that was the one I was watching on Twitch earlier today. Was he was he created and used his own like fake banking website for a scam. It was awesome. 
Oh, awesome. Yeah, we'll have to watch that video on uh, one of the next streams, I think. Honestly, like, this guy is super fun to watch. It's awesome. <laughs> I was never arrested, says Daniel. Well, fuck you. <laughs> You know darn well. Don't you give me. Don't try to play games with me. I could run pretty what fast. Do you need it? I'm trying to play a game with you. I'll take a left turn. I, I just need to know what are you charging? What are you charging me for? Is it just for the twenty? That's what for... I'm trying to explain you, but you can't understand that. You can't listen to me. You just telling me that. Okay. Don't try to play with me game. Okay. It what doesn't do you... make any sense to me, Miss. Are you offering me a deal? No, 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 I'm not offering you any kind of deal or n nothing like that, sorry. Officer, Morris? Morris? Yes? Listen to me. <laughs> Suddenly ASMR. How much to make all this go away? I'm say sorry? Any, say any number, how much to make all this go away? Suddenly ASMR. What do you mean that? Just whisper it into the phone. Whisper the number. Also, this is fucking hilarious. To make all this go away. My husband and I don't want to get involved in the police. We don't want to go to prison. We have kids. How much to make it all go away? <laughs> just, no, 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 I just, don't need anything. You, you don't understand. Please. No, please, for the love of God. I can't tell if he's trying to impersonate, um... Yes. He's trying to impersonate Elvis here, or if he's just, like, trying to whisper sensual nothings in my ear. But either way, it's working. <laughs> Please listen to me. I'll give you anything. Tell me. Tell me any number. Please. I don't need anything from you, Miss Miller. God. Listen. Ronnie, I'm here to help honey. you. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Well, what are you gonna help? How are you gonna help me? My first question is that, have you lost your wallet before in the past somewhere? No. Have you provided your information to any of your friends, family members, or any neighbors? No. Fridays are so... Fridays are Have nuts, Have you rented dude. the car in the past? <laughs> How many vehicles you own under your position? The last car we had was in Texas. It's gone now. You... You found it. No, at the You know, the you moment, know that. We don't have any other cars. That's the last one. You found it. I'll... By the way, I was eating um, this milk tea thing this entire time. I promise I was paying attention. It's this guy is going off the rails completely. It's insane. If I was a scammer, I would have hung up like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> like this is just at, at this point, he's just like trying to go as insane as possible to get this guy to like do something or say something. I cannot wait to see how far he has to go to like get this guy to hang up. And I cannot wait to see what this guy, like, this scammer does. Like, this is insane. This is insane. <laughs> like, imagine you're a scammer and you just call this person who's like, Oh yeah, I committed, like, many felonies. <laughs> they aren't listening, he tries, just tries to get through the script. And that's fine, but, like, at some point he hangs up. So at what point does he finally break and, like, hang up? Also, if you haven't yet, Discord.gg, uh, the the thing right there in the in the corner, you should totally join the Discord server that I have. It's it's awesome and amazing, and you should totally join it. Literally told okay. the other guy. And my next question is that uh, that have you put your information online any of of the websites? Nope, we don't use the internet to keep our well the dark web, but. <laughs> the dark web. Well, okay, this is the dark web, but we don't. Yeah, it's fine. My husband's familiar with that a little bit. We don't know exactly that who's trying to misuse your information for fraud activities. No, nope, no. Right? This guy's just trying to like go. <laughs> we don't know who's misusing your information. We know you're you're in the clear, and this person, just, this guy, is just like, no, no, no. I totally have been arrested a bunch. You don't understand. Another thing he does that's hilarious is when he can he conference calls another scam center into his current call. That sounds amazing. I need to look that up. But he as is. well as you, yeah, and you Wait, also I'm don't sorry. know that who's selling a few homemade products on this Silk Road. <laughs> yeah, scarves, uh, masks, face masks. Those are all the rage these days. A little cocaine, you know, all the usual stuff. Maybe an AK-47 here or there. An assassination or two. Got your Officer, person. you think somebody else did this, not me? 
exactly, but we oh are my not God. make sure. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Face masks with cocaine in them. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I didn't do it. Right, yeah, of course I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is brilliant. <laughs> yeah, uh... Right, yeah, my, my husband and I, we don't do any... We haven't done anything wrong. Yep, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 no, 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 you're correct, officer. Wasn't me. I have never had any drugs in my possession. <laughs> I've never been involved in any money laundering or anything, so... Oh my god. <laughs> Phones with batteries replaced for, for ba bags of, uh, flour. Yeah, exactly. Do Who we, needs a phone we, when you have extra flour? Get the Toyota back? Can we get the Corolla back, or are you done with it? <laughs> are you done Can with you it? Can you hear me first? Can you complete my part first? Oh my god, this guy is legitimately just going, fuck you and all of everything you're saying. Yep, go ahead. Hello. So, Miss Miller, right now we don't. It's kind of oddly specific. Don't I? No, go away. You don't know my life. No, exactly. That who's done those criminal activities with the federal government. Might be possible that somebody's trying to use your information, or might be possible that you can. <laughs> Charge lasts longer. <laughs> some, for some reason, my phone's going at uh, 300 frames per second. <laughs> can provide your information to any of the third person by intentionally uh, doing all of this fraud activities with the government, okay? You really think that? Are you playing games with me? What do you mean that? <laughs> the camera's got a nice red filter. Yes? Officer, you, you found the car! The you found the car! Did you not dust it for prints? I mean, my husband's prints were probably all over that car. So are you messing- are you just messing with me? If you think that I'm playing a game with you, so you can do one thing, you can wait for the legal action then, okay? I'm What's not the legal? To that's what, I, that's what I've been asking you this whole time. What is the legal action? What would I be charged the legal with? Action means what am I going to be charged legal, with? There, there is a drug trafficking and money laundering case filed I know, in I know your that. personal information. It almost looks like broken veins and eyes. Oh, I can't imagine. Tell me how long I would go to war. jail. And what am I charged with? Arrest warrant. For the love of Christ, stop the script! My God, man, you have so much patience. Can you hear me first? Yes. He's Don't losing make his me patience. Angry, miss. Okay. Oh, first. hang on. Yeah, he's definitely losing his patience at this point. But holy fuck, man! Yes. Don't make me angry, miss. Okay. Why? What's gonna happen if I make you angry? I don't want to talk with you anymore, okay? Just wait for the legal action. Thank you so much for your time. Have a blessed day. Goodbye. Wow. Sir? Sir? Once I forward this case file towards your wait, local hang FBI... Wait, Wait, is he just still talking? He's still talking. How is he still... What is going on? How? Quarter. They're gonna come down he's, to the door. He's doing that because he wants me to stay. He wants me to be afraid. After that, they so will I be go along the with them. Uh, but I'm trying to the investigation on your social number. That who's done those criminal activities? I'm the one who put all the cocaine in the car. I'm the one who rented it. I'm the one with all the houses. I did all the money laundering. <laughs> it was me. It wasn't my husband. Okay. Oh my god. This is just brilliant. Like, how is this guy not an actor? Have a, yeah, have a blessed day. And yeah, the filter that shows up when you're low on health and cod. Yeah, exactly. One of those. <laughs> Take me. That's fine. Arrest me. Take me. Take me. Take me. Take me? Take me me but please if you have any decent <laughs> hi actually have one i hope i pronounced that correctly i apologize if i butchered it but yes i love this guy too it's great see let my family go you hear me 
<laughs> yeah. Do you hear me, officer? Please. Yeah. <laughs> Think of the children. Take me to church and demonetized. <laughs> okay. Then meet you into the courthouse, okay? Thank you so much for your time. Goodbye. Okay. Okay, so I'm... Am I free to go or, or am I being arrested? <laughs> am I free to go? <laughs> What's going on here? Sit or... Yeah. Meet me into the courthouse, miss. Oh, it's X Eat. I apologize. I tried. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, which which courthouse? Thank you. Wait, do you want me to bring money? Am I? Are you gonna let me go if I give you money? I don't want to go to prison. I'll, I'll give you money if you want. I just, I just don't know what you want. I you, don't you, need it. Quit, no, quit playing games with I, my heart. I don't heart. need a money. Okay, okay, you, okay, I don't fine. Need listen, money. listen. It's torn apart. Put it in a jar of hearts. Something like that. Officer, final offer. Final offer. I will tell you right now. I will give you. Right now, I have I have um, prepaid gift cards. I have prepaid Visa cards. Okay, my husband and I. Yes, we were involved in the drug trade. I get it. You caught me. I will give you a thousand dollars right now to pay, to to make this whole thing go away. Two thousand dollars. I don't need it. No, I don't need anything from you, Miss. Sorry. I will get. I have. I have a two. I have two thousand dollars on a, on a prepaid visa, that I will give you right now. Oh my God! Give me the course of this. I know it's fantastic. Just freaking drops the mic and is like, ah, uh, and, and, and yeah, as we'll we'll keep going. <laughs> what the fuck is he thinking? I don't need anything 5, 000, from you. Five thousand dollars. You made me into that porch house. Please, Thank please, you. Bye -bye. please, please, ten thousand dollars. Oh, did he hang up? I think he. Hung up. Yeah, he hung up. This is so weird. <laughs> what the shit? How did he not break the script or character the whole time? I don't think he understood anything that was going on. I know. It's I like he's so trying either. to be serious. Act like he's not a scammer right now. I don't need anything, ma'am. Just meet me in the courthouse. I'm a real officer. <laughs> yeah, the courthouse. You know, the courthouse of the United States. The the one that we have in, in the U.S. The one courthouse, right? Oh my god, that's brilliant. Alright, so I love this guy. Uh, yeah, I saw him on Twitch earlier. I thought it would be hilarious to watch a video with him uh, in it. And that was, as I thought, pretty fucking funny. <laughs> that was great. Oh, by the way, uh, join the Discord. Discord.gg, the link right there. Join that. It's in the chat as well. You should totally join it. It's awesome. Uh, please. It's an awesome place to be, seriously, like, it's it's where you can chat with me and other people, uh, just on a daily basis. Because it's fun. That's fun. You should join us, it's awesome. Also, the in Instagram down there, also the twi Twitch and YouTube, if you haven't subscribed, if you haven't followed on Instagram, etc, etc, you totally should, that's always fun. Um, I post random things on Instagram, because I can. That's That's my reasoning, because I can. I just take photos of shit and post it there. <laughs> It is a lot of fun, though. You should check it out. But yeah, um, that's interesting. I like this guy. We should totally watch more of this guy at some point. I'm super okay with that. There's a cat in here. She says meow. Isn't that the whole point of Instagram? It is, yes. The entire point of Instagram is people just posting random shit on there, and it ends up fun. Um, I try hard to make it fun. Oh. There's a cat right next to me. She says meow. She's cleaning herself right now, but she says meow. I love that for them, I know. It, I do try to make it fun, but, um, you know, I'll just, I'll find something interesting or, or funny or whatever and I'll post it. So if you haven't, haven't followed yet, please do. Yeah. It's a meow meow. She says hello, I am, I am, she looks like she just woke up, to be fair. She, should, she probably did just wake up. Yeah, that was uh that was an interesting ride. Like I said, I, I did see him on Twitch earlier today. Oh hey, thanks you thank you so much for the follow. Uh uh Exit. I got it eventually, I apologize. Thank you so much for the follow, I appreciate it. So does the lights back there. Those actually work today. Sometimes they don't. I don't know why. Sometimes they just break. But that's actually been running for the last month or so. Just straight. It's running on a Raspberry Pi with some custom code that I made. It's beautiful. 
I, I kid you not, it is actually running on a Raspberry Pi with some custom code. That's the Pi hanging down, right? You can you can see the, the red light. That's the Raspberry Pi, it's just hanging out. Uh, fun fact about cats, that when they rub on you, they just claim you as their own property. Yes, I actually knew that. <laughs> There's a cat in the background. I'm new to the community, so I'm not sure, but are you always anywhere close to Twitch affiliate? I wanted to sub to you. Yes. Actually, I can do Twitch affiliate, but I'm still... She wants out. I will let her out in a moment. I am... I can become a Twitch affiliate now, however, um... I'm not sure I want to... I thought I was followed, but I must have been Mixer. Oh, alright. No worries. That's okay. The, the problem with Twitch affiliate is it requires you to post videos on other platforms 24 hours, at least 24 hours after you stream on Twitch. So that means I can't multi-stream on YouTube and Twitch, and I have like half the people are on Twitch and half the people are on YouTube. <clears throat> so if that ever changes one day, then yeah, it is a bit excessive. And so that means I can't, I can't multi-stream and be a Twitch affiliate. But I can't also do bits or anything if I'm not a Twitch affiliate. It's a giant pain in the ass. I hate their system. But yeah, it's... I can... It, like, all I have to do is hit a button and suddenly I'm a Twitch affiliate. But I don't really want to. Because <laughs> the legal behind that means that I can't do... Just use Facebook gaming. <laughs> Otherwise known as Mixer. Uh, yeah, I'll figure it out later on. It seems more people are on Twitch than YouTube, so that's good. But if that ever changes, if it ever becomes like a, everyone's on Twitch, then I'll do a Twitch affiliate. Because Twitch affiliate gives you guys benefits too. Like, it isn't just benefits for me. It isn't just bits and stuff. It actually gives benefits to you. Most notably what it does is it allows, um, it gives me priority when I stream on Twitch for transcoding. So when you're watching, if you're on like a, a worse network, if you're on mobile or something, then you can down transcode the, the stream to whatever you need. So that's always good. That's one of the benefits it gives you. And I really wanted the Twitch affiliate just for that, because then that allows you to, you know, more easily watch the streams, but that's... Unfortunately, it's just first come, first serve uh, on Twitch. That sucks, but that's the way it is. At least until you're an affiliate. Uh, partners have it worse. They can't stream on any other platform. I know, it's insane. I mean, again, you can't really stream on any other platform with Twitch affiliate either, because it doesn't make any sense uh, logistically. So it's not like going from affiliate to partner is a huge bottleneck or anything. It's just going to affiliate is is a uh, detriment in many ways. It sucks. What can you do? Maybe one day it'll change it or maybe one day my situation will change and uh, it'll be it'll become easier to be a Twitch affiliate or it'll make more sense to me for me to be a Twitch affiliate. But for right now, it doesn't. She had some streamlabs redeemable. I have many useless points. I know, I was thinking the same thing. Like, I don't know what I can do to redeem stuff. I'm thinking now that I'm hooked on to Discord, maybe I can do more stuff with redeemable points. But I'm gonna have to figure out how other people do redeemable points first. I don't know how that works or what they do. I'm lazy. <laughs> Doing stuff for redeemable points is hard. <laughs> The last couple of streams are actually transcoded. I know, it's been fantastic, but that's been luck, mostly. If you're an affiliate, it's almost guaranteed. If you're not, it's just luck. Oh, it's usually shoutouts. I do shoutouts anyway, though. Like, what what would you want from me? That That's, I guess, I shouldn't be looking at other streamers. I should be looking at what you would want from me. Like, what do you want from me for points? Like, what could I do that would make the points useful to you? That's my question. And let me let the cat out, because she's she's going now. Hi. I know. She's been trapped. Oh, God. <clears throat> So if you can find that out, then uh, let me know. Yes, uh, points. So you earn points for uh, watching streams, basically. You can do exclamation point points in chat, and you can 
a whiteboard in the background for redeemed shoutouts. Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. But yeah, for you earn points for just watching the stream, basically. Um, and you can then redeem those points for things later on. Currently, I've been doing giveaways, but since I have had no money recently, it's hard to do giveaways. Um, I will be doing giveaways again soon, but for now, I need to do stuff with points that's free for me. Or nearly free. And I'm not sure what. Maybe you can redeem points to... I'm, I th I'm sure I could do something with Discord where you can redeem points to, like, have Discord tags or something, maybe. That'd be nice. Like, it, it, maybe if you redeem a certain amount of points, you can have, like, a, a rank or a role in Discord or something. I don't know. Not that roles do anything <laughs> in the Discord. I feel like custom emotes... Cust uh, custom emotes are... Oh, you mean you can create a custom emote that goes in the Discord? Yeah, that'd be fun, actually. I was at 500 when I lost a bunch on pick a card. My guy literally goes inside in 10 seconds, jumps again, out again through the window. <laughs> He's affiliate for emotes. Oh, yeah. Or, yeah, Discord emotes I could do. We can do 50 Discord emotes. That'd be awesome. Yeah, you could, like, create custom emotes, or I could create custom emotes or something. I mean, I have... Everything is enabled currently for everyone. Like, everyone can do pretty much everything in the Discord. I say it within reason. I'm talking like external emojis, I'm talking uh, see everything that everyone else can. There's no like hidden. Like, if you're a, a different rank on the Discord, all that is is a color. There's nothing that can be added to your role that wouldn't give you too much power. <laughs> so. Yeah, I could, like, lock stuff behind rolls, or lock stuff behind points or something like that. But that feels kind of dickish. I don't know, it feels dickish to me. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's- maybe it's just good business. Oh damn, I literally just clicked to see if I had access to it. I said within reason. I want a cracking egg gif emote. I don't know that I can do gif emotes. I don't think that's possible. I think you have to be a certain rank in Discord. It's a genius pun. It's beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, if you haven't joined the Discord yet, uh, it's the link is, hey, right there. There is the Discord. You should totally join. It's awesome. I wonder if you disabled that, everyone. I did. I'm not that bad at, at Discord. There have been some permissions issues recently because um, a couple of the channels, for whatever reason, like a couple of the staff channels reverted uh, their, like I had them synced up to the category that they were in, but then they just reverted to a previous state, which made people able to see them, which is very strange. Uh, boosted servers, I think, I think boosted servers can do, uh, well, I mean, obviously somehow some servers have been able to do emotes, which are, uh, animated. I'm not sure how, though. I believe you need a partner to be high enough boost level to make get GIF emotes, yeah. That's Dino's fault. Wait, what's Dino's fault? Oh, what'd you do? I didn't... nothing. You've done nothing so far, good. I'd hope not. <laughs> so you're like, how... did you break something already? I thought I set up permissions for this. No, I did. I set them up. Oh, it, the the reversal of the syncing, it's, yeah, Dino with its mute role modifies channel rules and unsyncs them. That could be it, but reverting to a previous state that it had was strange, but it could be Dino, yeah. That makes sense. Huh. Yeah, this is why I don't get the bots too much access to things. <laughs> I actually limited the bot permissions. In fact, I limited them so much that one of the bots can't actually post in the announcements where it's supposed to post. Uh, that was a mistake. Huh. I, I do not set up Discord servers a lot, so that's good to know. Well, hopefully it doesn't happen again. I don't plan on changing rules around that much, so it shouldn't happen again. But yeah, whoops, I accidentally forgot to, uh, set the bot permissions in the video announcements, so one of the bots wasn't able to actually post the, uh, video, <laughs> the stream that was going on. Whoops! That was my bad. I tried. I failed. But I did try. 
Uh, how do I... Yeah, edit category permissions. Yeah, I don't have the bot permissions in here. Whoopsies. Uh, we're gonna... Boop, boop. Um... Uh, use external emojis, add reactions. Um, yeah, like that. That works. <laughs> there we go. So now the bot overlords have access to the video announcements. Hopefully that works. Or ex access to all the important, actually. <laughs> that should work, I think. I hope. We'll find out. Uh, but, by the way, if you haven't yet, um, <laughs> I say if you haven't yet, but what I mean is, if you don't, you should get yourself air conditioning uh, during the winter. That way, when the next summer rolls around and it's just as hot, like 90 degrees Fahrenheit plus, then you have air conditioning. Every time it comes summertime, uh, like a week before or the week of summer, what always happens is people will go buy air conditioners and all the things, fans, air conditioners, swamp coolers, whatever cools them down, they're always out and they're always marked up in price. Buy them during the winter. Save yourself some money, save yourself some time, save yourself some pain, buy them during the winter. Helpful life hint for you there. <laughs> also just get air conditioning, just get a place with air conditioning if you can. <laughs> Really, is the, is the ultimate answer there. Insanity. Uh, but, today... Today, I think we're gonna call it good uh, for today's stream because I've run out of things to talk about, at least on stream, today. Um, I do have some things planned, so I will have some things to talk about on Saturday stream, because today is Wednesday, right? It is, yes. I do have some things planned for the next couple of days, so I will have things to talk about on Saturday stream, don't worry. But I want to just kind of discuss uh, some various security topics that were going on over the last week. It's nice to chill and watch the stream, yeah, exactly, and I hope everyone joined the Discord. If you haven't, it's right there. Um, if you want to join the Discord, chat with me during the next couple of days, it's awesome. Uh, don't have too much fun. I will check out your Whisper Daniel, I forgot about that, I apologize. Let me see here. I have it open, and I have notifications, and whispers. Hey, look, it's a whisper it from Dan. Oh, I hey, look. All right, awesome. Um, <laughs> uh, no, Dan. I'm going to say no to that. All right, enjoy, Dan. Um, you guys, you all have fun. Don't have too much fun. I will see you on Saturday stream after we have some more things to discuss. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Hang on. I keep I keep screwing this up. Goodbye. There we go. No, nope, that's not. That's that was that was the wrong. Hang on. Goodbye. <laughs> I keep screwing this up. I'm so sorry. Ara. I. Wow. That came out. I promise I know how to do au revoir, but that just came out weird. Bye. Ciao.